Extrusions are three-dimensional solid features which can be created from a two-dimensional profile. In Unigraphics, the Extrusion dialog box can be accessed by going to Insert, Design Feature, Extrude, or by clicking on the corresponding icon on the toolbar. After opening the Extrusion command, you'll first be prompted to select the profile you want to extrude. When you open the command, a window will pop up labeled Selection Intent. This box will allow you to filter the options of profiles that you can select. Note that you can select several different types of curves for extrusion, including edges or closed curves. If you select a closed curve, your extrusion will be a solid based on the area enclosed by the curves. If you select an open curve or a linear, linear edge, the extrusion command will create a surface which will be swept from the edge you selected. Selecting a surface will take you to the Sketcher Editor, which will allow you to create a sketch from which you can extrude. You can also go to the Sketch Editor by choosing the Sketch option from the Extrusion dialog box. After selecting a section to extrude, a preview of the extrusion will be shown on the screen. The default direction for the extrusion is normal to the plane of the section. You can reverse this direction by choosing the reverse arrow within the dialog box. You can also change the direction of the extrusion by using any of the vector construction techniques. Note that an associativity will exist between the extruded feature and the vector direction you create. Therefore, after creating the extrusion, if you change the geometry referenced by your vector direction, the extruded feature will update accordingly. When creating your extrusion feature, you must also select a Boolean command to apply to the extrusion. Also, after extruding your section, you can change any of your options by right-clicking on the extruded object and selecting Edit Parameters. You can also simply double-click on the extruded feature to change its parameters. The length of your extrusion will be set by setting the limits for the extrusion, which are its start and end values. This can be done in the dialog box. Each limit can be set using several methods. The first method is to simply specify a numerical value for the start and end distances. For this option, you can use a negative or positive value. Negative value will be made opposite the direction of the vector you use to construct your extrusion. A value of 0 indicates that the limit will be on the section you use to extrude. The second option for setting limits is to use a symmetric value. This allows you to specify either the start or end value, and the other limit will automatically be set to the same magnitude, but directed in the opposite direction. Therefore, the value you input will be half the length of the total extension. The next option is labeled Until Next. This option will extrude your section until the next body along the path of the extrusion direction. This body must intersect the entire section that is being extruded or the command will fail. Every point on the extrusion will continue until it contacts this body, so the end profile will be non-uniform if it intersects a face not perpendicular to the extrusion direction. The next option is much like the Until Next command, but allows you to select the face, datum plane, or body you wish to extrude to. Thus, you can extrude past the first intersecting body. You can use the Until Extended command to extrude to a body that doesn't intersect with the entire extrusion profile. This command simply extrudes the profile until it intersects the plane of the selected object. The Through All option extends the extrusion profile until the last selectable body along the extrusion path and passes through all bodies and features in between. Also, if you have the Value option selected, you can change the start or end values dynamically by dragging the handles on the screen. Selecting the Offset command allows you to scale the area of the extrusion profile. A positive offset will extrude a profile larger than the original figure, and a negative offset will be smaller. 
You can select a single-sided offset, double-sided offset, or a symmetric offset. A single-sided offset will allow you to specify the perpendicular distance from the perimeter of the original profile to the perimeter of the offset profile. A negative value, again, will make a smaller profile. The double offset allows you to select two values to extrude from. Both the start and the end values are measured positive in the same direction with respect to the original pro profile perimeter. A symmetric offset is a form of the double offset with equal and opposite values for the start and end values. You can also specify an offset by dragging the handles on the screen to change the values. You can also use offset values to create a solid geometry by extruding a line or open curve. Selecting the draft option allows you to add a slope to your extrusion. To add draft to the extrusion, you must first specify the angle of the slope you want the extrusion to follow. You can do this by entering a value in the dialog box or by dragging the handles dynamically on the screen. A positive value for this angle slopes the sides of the extrusion inward toward the center of the profile as the extrusion distance increases. A negative angle slopes the sides of the extrusion outward. A zero slope will result in a zero draft, and therefore straight sides. There are several options for applying draft. The first is called from start limit. This option keeps the base of the extruded solid the same size as the profile used for extrusion and applies the draft angle from this base, or the start limit of the extrusion, to the top of the extrusion. The next option is labeled from section. You can use this option if the profile of the extrusion is in between the start and end values. This option will keep the extrusion profile the same dimensions at the level of the original profile and will apply the draft angle through the entire extrusion, positive from the end value and negative to the start value. The From Section Symmetric Angle option is similar to the previous option, but the draft angle will be applied positive in both the start and end directions. The last option, From Selection Matched Ends, is also similar to the previous option, but rather than using the input angle when drafting to the start point, the angle of draft from the profile down will be determined by matching the start profile's dimensions to those of the end profile and allowing the angle from the original profile to the start profile to be determined by these dimensions. Revolutions can be used to create solids or surfaces by extruding a sketch profile about an axis. The command for creating revolutions is found in the Insert menu under Design Features Revolve. You may also choose the Revolve icon in the menu bar. The first step for creating a revolution is to select the sketch you wish to revolve. This will be a cross-section of your final profile. If you have not already created a sketch of your profile, you can either select the planar face of an object or a datum plane you wish to create a sketch on, or simply select the sketch icon from the dialog box. All of these options will bring you to the Sketcher application. After selecting Finish Sketch, you will be brought back to the Revolution dialog. After selecting your section to revolve, pick the button to specify the axis of rotation from the selection step icons. You can specify the axis of rotation with the Vector Constructor drop-down 
or by selecting an object such as a datum axis or edge to infer a vector. You can use the reverse direction button to flip the axis orientation which will be important if you do not wish to revolve the section by 360 degrees since the revolution occurs according to the right hand rule. Next, you must enter limit values for the revolution which will be the extrusion's start and end values in degrees. The default start value is zero. This makes the revolution begin at the sketched section. The default end value is 360, which makes a complete revolution. Formulas and functions can also be entered if desired by using the drop-down menu. You can also select a geometry on screen to specify the end value or drag the green handles on the screen. Press enter after entering a value to view a preview on the screen. Offsets can also be used by checking the offset box. This will allow you to specify the start and end values from the which to offset the extruded section from your sketch. Note that you cannot add an offset to a revolution with more than one section string. Another method for creating surfaces is to use the sweep along a guide command. This command extrudes a sketch along a user-defined path. This command is found in the Insert, Sweep, Sweep Along a Guide option. To use this command, you must first select a section string, which will be the sketch defining your extrusion profile. This section can be an open or closed boundary sketch, curve, edge, or face. You must then select a guide string along which to extrude your section. This string can be formed by one or a series of curves, edges, or faces. The guide string does not need to intersect the section string. The profile will simply be extruded along the same direction as the chosen string. However, the guide string cannot have gaps or voids along its length. You may then specify the first and second offsets, if desired, much as in extrusions and revolutions. You may then simply choose OK to create your sweep feature. To successfully create a sweep along a guide feature, the section curve you choose should be located near the start point of the guide path. Section curves too far away from the guide curves will give abnormal results. If you choose a line as the guide path, the system will use the extrude method, while arcs will use revolve command to create the sweep. Also, if the guide string has sharp corners, you should place the section string away from the sharp corner. The sweep cannot be created properly if two adjacent lines in the guide string meet at an acute angle or if an arc in the guide has a radius too small for the size of the section curve. The path must be continuous and generally smooth to use the sweep along a guide command.